Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can add more medicine to your DAISY private community custom server. Um, and there's there's a few different aspects of adding more medicine. Um, it's quite a lot of different loot. You've got things like multivitamins, um, which are kind of preventative against getting ill. Um, you've got charcoal tablets, which are good for uh, food poisoning or... Um, uh, say you drink something you shouldn't do like petrol you've got tetracycline which is the antibiotic antibiotic in daisy which is good for cholera so say you drink some bad water um i think it works against other stuff as well then you've got codeine tablets which is a painkiller which will help you say you've been injured especially with the introduction of um broken limbs uh, pretty soon this should be able, able you to uh, you know when you slow down this will stop you from slowing down for a little bit then you've got morphine which is a morphine injector which will um which will work faster um and again this stops you from you know going slow when when you're injured um, especially in pvp situations and then you've got epinephrine um which is adrenaline um uh, which is very useful for um, reviving players, but also you use it on yourself, um, and it reduces uh, stamina consumption. So especially for aiming down sight, so you have a steady aim, um, you can do stuff. So as you can imagine, there's lots of different names here that we need to know about. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a um, Nitrado uh, server as our example, how we're going to do this. So you may access your server via FTP or you may access it via um, a, a different provider but it'll kind of be the similar sort of idea so that you want to get into the dashboard for your server and then you want to get to the file browser because the file we're interested in is the types.xml file and you'll find it um, underneath the, the missions folder now if you're on PC you've got to dig down a little bit further to get to the missions folder but you can always search um, once you click on the missions folder you'll either see uh, a mission for Chernerus or a mission for Enoch, which is Livonia. You might see both. So just click on the one that your server is currently running. And once we've clicked into that one, you want to go into the DB folder. And then you should see within this folder, you should then see the types.xml file. And then you want to download the types.xml file. Now, once you've downloaded it, make a copy of it. That way, if you make a mistake and we can't recover the mistake, you can go back to the original and kind of start again. And then you want to open it up in your favorite text editor, which for me would be Notepad++. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. It's free. It's more powerful than standard Notepad. It does things like color coding stuff. So now we need to add, oops, need to add more items, don't we? So let's do this in kind of a a uh, a logical manner so let's go back to our list of stuff so the first one is the vitamins so let's do a control f to find and let's put in vitamin there we go as you can see it's actually called the vitamin bottle uh, nominal nominal of 40. so again you might want to increase so let's change the nominal up to 50 so there's another 10 and let's increase the minimum so what what happens within daisy is it doesn't start adding more of an item back in until it reaches that minimum so if we put that item back at that uh, minimum up to 40 the game will start respawning in vitamin bottles and um, when it gets down to there now let's quant min quant, ma quant max so this is how full or empty the vitamin bottle would be what you might want to do is put that up to you know um 90 and then 99 something like that so when they spawn in the vitamin bottles will be full of vitamins <laughs> instead of you know one or two um now it's only counted on the map which is quite good so when someone has a vitamin bottle in their pocket well in the, you know it could be in their trouser pocket it can be in their bag or in their base or something the game doesn't count that so it will spawn another one in the cluster's tools and you'll find them in sh on shelves in towns or villages now you may well say actually um i really want vitamin bottles to also be say in a medical location so what you could do is you could add you could copy that and you could add another usage like this because everything in day z has well everything almost has two kind of tags to it i'll have a tag telling you what it is you know clothes container explosive tool weapon that sort of thing and a tag of where it should be 
so what we could do is if we add the tag of medic as well here like this multivitamins will now also appear where tools will appear where medicine would be so uh, you know uh, hospitals uh, clinics around those areas as well because remember you always get kind of a spillover don't you from from you'll be next to one of those little clinics those blue buildings and then in a shed next door you'll find some surgical gloves because you kind of get this spillover of items related items that are around there so so that would be quite cool so there's the vitamin bottle so we've added a few more of those remember as you're adding things you, you should really take other things away to keep the, the loops uh, balanced in your server so if we add you know another 10 vitamin bottles we should take away things like i don't know 10 masks or 10 hockey hats that sort of stuff so the next item uh, is the charcoal tablets so let's have a look for them so let's go back to the top let's do control f let's put in charcoal there we go here we go so charcoal tablets there should be 20 on the server there's a minimum of 12 so let's put that up to say 30 and then let's put the minimum up to 20 um, let's change the quant mix to 99 quant max is 100 so they'll always you'll always get a full packet of charcoal tablets they're only counted on the map so that's good for me it's classed as tools shelves in, in, in a medic place which I, I think is cool I'm, I'm more than happy um, just having medical stuff within the um, the hospitals and and those little clinics. Um, I think that, that that's fine because they're they're scattered all over the place, especially the little clinics. And you know you, you kind of want to find them. I guess you could add you could add town and village to it if you wanted to, um, because you could argue that people would have certain medicines in their homes, wouldn't they? So you could do that. But also remember that. You, you could add the same usage tag to everything, couldn't you? You could have every single item could be town, village, hunting, military, so everything would spawn everywhere, but that would spoil a little bit of the narrative of Daisy, wouldn't it? The fact that you do find items kind of sort of in their logical places. So I'll be happy with having that. So we've added the more charcoal tablets. So let's go to the next one. So the next one is tetracycline, which is the antibiotic. Very, very useful. So let's go back to here. Let's go back to the top. I think if we do a search for, I think, cycling, that'll come up straight away. There they are. So these are called tetracycline antibiotics. Now, there's only 20 of these spawning on the map at any time, but it's very easy to get ill in Daisy. So let's wipe that up to 40. Let's put the minimum up to 30. Let's put the comp min up to 99. And they're only counted on the map. So that's good. Tools, shelves, medic. Yep, so I'm happy with that. Let's go to the next one is coding pills. So let's go back to the top and do a control F for coding. So we spell coding. No. I E. No. We spell coding. Let's go back. Coding. Actually, I don't think this. No, I do apologize. It's not spelled like it's it, It's pain. Yeah, they're called coding tablets are actually called painkiller tablets. So there we go. So painkiller tablets. So there's only 20. So let's put them up to 30. Let's change the minimum up to 20. Let's change the quant min up to 99. So again, these pack these packets will be full of painkiller tablets. They're only counted on the map, which is good. On tall shelves in medical places. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. That's fine. And then what have we got? We've got the morphine auto injector. So let's go back to the top. Control F. Morphine. There it is. So morphines, there's only 15. So let's put that up to, say, 25. Let's put the minimum up to uh, 20. There's no quant min, quant max. If it says minus one, it means that that doesn't apply, that this tag doesn't apply. Uh, tool shelves medics they're only counted on the map so again i'm happy with that and then the last one is the epinephrine let's go back to the top which i don't think it's called epinephrine i think it's called adrenaline Ooh. 
adrenaline. Oh, maybe it is a penetrating penny. Um, e peen. How do you spell that? E p i n e. E p i n e. There it is. Oh, it is a penetrating. Um, so there should be 30 of those. So let's put that up to 40. Let's put the minimum up to 30 that are only counted in the map. Tool shelves, medics. That's good. Do we have the um, adrenaline? Why did I think it was called adrenaline? Anyway, so yeah, 40, 30. There we go. So we've added a lot of the medicines back in. Now you could add things like, um, I guess, blood bags, um, bandages. Uh, you could add more of those. They're, they're, they're easy to do. Again, bandages are better than rags because uh, you... you um, bandage. There we go. There's bandage. Bandage dressing. There we go. Because um, they, they tend to always be clean um, when you find them, and uh, they work faster. So when you put them on, you can apply a, a bandage faster than you can um, rags when you're trying to stop bleeding with that. So there we go. So once you're happy, again, hit the save. And again, I'll, I'll repeat myself. When you add these things in, you should take other things away to keep the server balanced so it doesn't become overwhelmed. Um, but once you're happy with that, you want to go over to somewhere like uh, xmlvalidation.com, upload your file just to make sure you haven't made any spelling mistakes or missed any tags off it. When you're copying and pasting stuff, it's easy to you know put an extra space in or put an extra full stop in that shouldn't be there, but this will just help you pick you up on, a, on an error. And then once you're happy with it, go back to your server and you want to stop the server. So click the stop button. You want to upload your new types.xml over the top of your old one and you want to restart the server. And then your medical equipment, your medicines, will start to spawn in so that your players can help to heal themselves when they get ill, when they hurt themselves, when they get infected, all of that sort of stuff. Anyway, if you found that video useful, hit like if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.